In our other video, we talked about patient position and transducer orientation, and in this video, I'd like to talk about inputting information into the ultrasound machine and how to go about acquiring a, a measurement. So on the ultrasound machine, one of the things that's different about IMT as compared to some of the other examinations is that there's some information that you really need to have input into the system. It's very important to have the patient gender input into the system because the risk stratification gets applied according to male or female. And the date of birth, that's information that's very important as well. Ethnicity is an option that's offered for IMT only, and that's relative to the risk stratification. So you always want to have that information selected. You also want to be sure you have the IMT exam selected. Once you get all that information input, you can begin with your study and know that when the study's completed, that information will automatically be populated into the patient report for SonoCalc. You want to take your measurements from the distal portion of the common carotid artery just before the bifurcation. So when you're acquiring your measurements, you'll always be scanning in the longitudinal plane. You'll have the artery in long, and you want to get a nice image of the IMT. You don't want to take your measurement within the bulb. Depending on your protocol, you'll take measurements from the near wall and the far wall. So when you have a good image of the IMT, you'll freeze the image, select the calcs, then you want to select the IMT measurement tool, and you'll get this drop-down menu that gives you options of which angle are you scanning from. And when you select the label, the tool will come up. And you just select the direction that you need to move the tool, whether it's left and right or up and down. And you bring the tool down, and it should attach onto the arterial wall. And the measurement will automatically be displayed on the bottom of the screen. This is a far wall measurement. Now I'll show you how to acquire a near wall measurement. Near wall measurement is again taken at the distal portion of the common carotid artery just prior to the bifurcation. You want to select the calcs. And when you select your label, you want to select a label that has N for near wall measurement. When the tool comes up, you can bring it down, move it left to right. If you need to make an adjustment of the measurements, we're going to here adjust the lumen line. Select the lumen, turn the dial, and make the adjustment. And again, across the bottom of the screen, the measurement results are displayed. The right side, lateral, and you have N, indicating that this is a near wall measurement. So when you're looking at the measurement, you will notice a little portion of the measurement line is blue. That's identifying the thickest portion of the measurement. The max region correlates to this little blue line the maximal thickness of this measurement. When you acquire your measurements, it's important to remember to hit the Save key so that those measurements will be populated in the report page. To view your report at the end of an exam, select the More key and Report. And all measurements that have been saved will be populated in the report. The individual measurement results can be displayed, as well as the summary averaging all measurements that have been acquired. In summary, the IMT exam is done bilaterally, and you want to make sure that you image the patient from all recommended angles, anterior, lateral, and posterior. And remember, according to your protocol, you can evaluate the near wall as well as the far wall.